Hi, just thought I'd like to show you my home solar backup power I made about a year ago. It's a mess. These wires actually don't do anything. Just backup chargers, extension cords, another inverter. I got these little boost packs on sale for like 10 or 15 bucks each so I got some of those and those are 8 amp hour batteries I got a 35 amp hour batteries um, and in total I have about uh, it's close to about 100 amp hours uh, <clears throat> I used a copper plumbing pipe here I squished it down and I used self tapping screws and washers to attach all my uh, batteries together Except for this one, I made it removable, so I just clamp it on, so I can use it in other places when I need it. And I did the same on this side. And then I have uh, <clears throat> a few of my solar panels connected to this side of the run on each side. And same with the other side, to try and get some uh, even charging. Ah, there's my one charge controller. I got one in the middle that's not in use, and then I have another one on this side. <coughs> in my Rubbermaid container. This is my cheap Costco buy. I got it for 59 bucks in the US uh, oh, quite a few years back now. It handles quite good. It'll do 3000 peak no problem. I've run 3000 peak on it for a while, which is pretty good because most inverters won't do that. <coughs> These are my solar panels. I have nine of the foot and a half by three foot and three about, I don't know, 18 inches by foot and a half. I got a couple in the window here as well. <coughs> and even with the snow on them, the way they are there, they are still charging pretty good probably about I don't know 20 percent of their original capacity you can see that they are charging and how I get power through the house is I use this just a little power meter the little they had two uh, watch batteries in on the back and of course they only last a couple months and they go dead. And I had this 4 volt uh, sealed lead acid battery. So I just hooked it right up. It's a volt too high. But uh, it works really good. And it lasts me. I've never had to charge it yet. So I think it'll almost last the life of the battery. <coughs> so. Like this. Now I have an extension cord. I can run wherever I want in the house. It's the only problem with this inverter I find is the higher the input voltage, like this, uh, what is it, 13.2 volts, the higher that is, the lower the output voltage on this inverter. So as I put a load on it and it drops down when I get to about 12 and a half, 12 volts. I'm running at about between 105 and 115 volts, depending on where the voltage is exactly. <clears throat> so, cheap inverter, but it does run stuff quite well. Like I run, it's probably not the best to run off of a modified sine wave, but uh, I run my computer and all that stuff off of it. Still plugged in, yep. Alright, so take the, in, the plug. This plugs all my computer stuff. See, the, the screen's on. I'm just gonna plug this in here. There, I just plugged it in. Screen's turning on. A slight buzzing sound from the monitor because this is uh, an L, not an LED, uh, 
a fluorescent lit background. I don't know if you can hear it. But yeah, that's uh, and it's my Asus gaming laptop hooked to it. It's my desktop replacement. <clears throat> now I'll run for about. If there's no solar at all at night, it runs for about four to six hours because, well, that's if I'm gaming on it or something. But if I'm not doing anything, look, the voltage is already climbed a bit. Uh, yeah. Pulling just over an amp. Right, almost 100 watts. That's the most I've pulled through here so far. It's how many kilowatts I've produced since I put this battery on, which wasn't too long ago. And yeah, that's the options I have. That works pretty good. I like it. The whole system cost me... Let's see now. The solar panels I got in packs of three at Costco for uh, $99 plus two small inverters and everything that... Uh, that comes with it for wiring. So that was about uh, $300 plus the small ones, let's say $350 plus $50 for the inverter. So up to $400. I have 35 ampere, which is 100. So 500. Um, let's say just over $600 in total here, which I think is pretty good deal for what you get it's you don't have to vent any of this it's all sealed it's good for in the house it lasts quite a long time uh, there's your voltage actually being used <coughs> yeah that's it I thought it was a sweet deal I can I've even plugged this into my uh, fridge and this has run my fridge uh, Let's run it actually for about 12 hours if you don't open the door constantly. So it's a great uh, backup supply to have. 